Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a read for you and that other person and I'm going to be using the peace cards so uh, we all can use a little bit of peace in our lives, right? So we're gonna, I'm going to start with that. Um, whew. All right, and then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, pull some tarot and then also uh, pull the cards uh, uh, that uh, are our favorites uh, uh, as it relates to you and that other person, uh, which is talk to me like I'm someone that you love. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what's in store for you. Please continue your likes, your subscribes, your shares, and note your comments below. I so appreciate it, so thank you. Uh, and I do wanna thank all of you that have booked a personal read. Thank you so much. If you do would like a personal read uh, and to get on my schedule, uh, do so uh, at theguidedintuitive.com. You'll see it up here. Uh, but it taps into your own personal energies rather than a general read, okay? Because uh, general reads will pick up on the general energies for the most part, okay? So let's see uh, what is in store for you. Now that other person could be a, a, a significant other. It could be a boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, a person of interest, and even a friend or family member. All right. Now a lot of times that this might resonate uh, with sometimes it might have to do with a work situation. It might have to deal with uh, a situation overall. Okay. So just note that. Um, I've had subscribers say that uh, a lot of times. So uh, do note that. All right. Uh, and um, uh, I think that is it, guys. This will be for all of uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus signs, all right? So let's do this. Uh, this might, uh, this is only going to be from, um, like, well, it'll be from the 16th through the 30th of September, but note that energies are fluid. It might go on well after. It might uh, have happened before, or you might be the smack in the middle of it, all right? So uh, there you go. All right, so let's see what wants to come up for you, all right? Let's see what wants to come up for you, Pisces. Let's talk about your current situation at hand, okay? So here we go. Here it is. What do we have? Ooh, realization. Okay, so so something, the, the clouds are clearing, right? There is a sense of vulnerability in this process that I'm feeling, okay? But there's been some sort of realization in a relationship, in a situation, whatever that case may be for you, okay? Could be just internally for yourself that there's been some sort of path that's been enlightened for you, right? You're like, whoa, right? And it's kind of like, it's like a sensitive thing. I feel like it's an internal thing, okay? Uh, it's, you know, you've got the pastel colors and it's a little bit darker here. So I think it's more of an internal thing for yourself. Uh, but I think that you're just seeing the first glimmer and the glimpse of the light with this newfound knowledge, okay? And this new, just it's like it's a fresh realization. And that's exactly what I'm thinking here. Now I'm gonna pull some tarot to kind of see what, uh, how we can clarify this and what would want to come up for you, all right? So let's see what that is for you here. Here it is, what is it? Ooh, okay, so you've got some communication that is coming through, which could be a part of, again, this realization, right? It's an eight card and the eights are that, that infinity number, right? It's, it's like everything is connected through energy, right? It's a consistent flow. It never ends. It doesn't stop, right? It's, it, it's, it's always in progress, right? So I think that there is some clarity or some communication that's coming through that is helping you come to this realization for yourself, okay? In this relationship, in this situation or whatever has brought you to my channel, okay? So let's see. I'm going to clarify this one more time and see what wants to come. And it could be that you're dealing with a uh, fire energy, the wands or that fire energy uh, area. Leo Sagittarius, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Yeah. <laughs> then we get the lover's card right after that, just to clarify it even more, right? Uh, so this could be about a relationship, okay? It's getting a little specific, and, and, and uh, there might be a lot of you out there that uh, might pertain to this. So it could be about uh, some sort of union, okay? Uh, and that's what I'm seeing here. This is beautiful. Yeah. So this is just telling me that it, that at this particular time, you might be dealing with the Gemini, okay, could be, but this is about major decisions taking place. You're gonna have a choice relating to lovers, okay? There's gonna be some sort of realization and have a choice. It's gonna put you into making a choice. Uh, and it, it doesn't, you know, it could be as it relates to a person that you may be seeing, a union, a contract of some sort, okay? Uh, but that's what's coming through and what I'm seeing here. Let's take a look at this other person, what their current situation is, okay? Here we go, what is it? Gratitude. Wow. So they're, they're, they're talking about gratitude. So this is interesting because 
This is about, you know, the more gratitude that you have, the more bountiful your life is, right? You can see like the sunflowers are blooming. There's a lot more energy that's surrounded. There's a lot of warmth and it just it really feels wonderful, right? And it's it really makes you grounded too, right? And it just, it just really, uh, it just, all it does is, as I'm saying, is that the whole world seems to become even better. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing there. So there's some sort of gratefulness and gratitude with this particular person. They're really taking a, they're very grateful for your connection, for this situation that they're in, uh, for whatever that is, is kind of happening to them right now. Um, they're in just gratefulness and gratitude. Wow. They actually get the sun card. Well, no wonder, right? Major arcana card that is coming through here. Really very vibrant feeling very very energized sorry I got something in my eye but yeah that's what i'm seeing here this is beautiful this is about self-expression of gratitude right uh you know and what's so funny is that you see all these sunflowers here and look at the sunflowers all around here too isn't this beautiful so i think that they're feeling like they're newborn some sort of new enlightenment that has come into play. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing here. Success, some sort of fulfillment could be within a relationship, a situation uh, for this person. This is gorgeous. It's a major arcana card, so this is fabulous. Anything else that wants to come through? Yeah, uh, well, look at after this. After this comes this. So it's like uh, after that dark night of the soul, the sun is now shining. You couldn't get more opposite, right? <laughs> so, I mean, well, you could have get the ten of swords, but, you know, close enough, right? <laughs> close enough. It might have had to deal with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So I'm just saying. Um, or you might have that in your chart or whatever the case may be. But that's what I'm feeling here. So, yeah, after the dark night of the soul, the sun comes out. So what's, what's the situation? That's the situation now. Where's the relationship or situation headed? Okay, let's see what that is. A new beginning for you, Pisces. This is nice. A brand new beginning is coming into place. So something fresh. I think there's a new, there's some sort of realization, a new beginning. Uh, communication comes through. You make a decision as it relates to lovers. And there's either a new beginning with a new love or a new beginning on your own. So let's uh, clarify that and see what wants to come up. But yeah, a brand new beginning is taking place. A change of seasons is happening, okay? Right after that harvest moon we had. So let's uh, take a look. I'm going to clarify this and see what wants to come up. Okay, new beginning. What is this? Wow, page of wands. New beginning. Uh, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius type energy. Uh, you might be carrying this energy on or there's a new beginning with that, type, with that person. Maybe that's your lover. Uh, maybe that is a person of interest at this time. Uh, but that's what I see. There's been, there's been some success, so it's about taking that first step and moving forward, right? Pages are about the new beginnings, right? New beginnings for sure. Something, it's almost as if that this new beginning is, is feeling like it brings you back to the past, okay? Like to childhood, you know? So this new beginning brings you back to simpler times, right? Uh, and that's what's coming into play. So we've got the, uh, we've got the uh, uh, Six of Cups. Could have to do... Um, it could be, I feel this is you because it's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're carrying that, that energy of, of, of the past and starting anew uh, with this new beginning. It somehow brings you to the past, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. How interesting. And that could be a good thing. Uh, it also could be a, you know, a, a, a not so good thing sometimes. But in this situation, I'm feeling it's really good. It just makes you feel like, you know, like you were a long time ago when you had to start out again, right? So it kind of brought you to that point. Um, I'm going to clarify that. I'm going to take one more step further. Let's just take one more card over here and see what wants to come out. Yeah, there's like been a judgment. So you've made a judgment call as it relates to this lovers or as it relates to this union contract situation. A judgment has been made and you've been resurrected. Okay, you've been resurrected. And that's what I feel. It's like you've, this is good energy because I always feel that the judgment has been made. And now everyone is, is kind of standing up with their arms up. And I always feel that this is a, that new beginning the, the, the angel is, is, is announcing the trumpet. Uh, you've got a new opportunity. Take heed. Uh, you know, take this opportunity. Um, where's this relationship headed on this other person's side? Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hair after the gym, right? Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, patience. Patience. Okay. So this other person is where this relationship is headed is, is about having patience in the process. Just like the seasons, they come and they go. We have patience for the spring 
to complete before it moves into summer, right? And then the summer, you know, moving into the autumn and fall type thing. So that's what I'm seeing here. The earth has patience it, and, and it's always renewing, always renewing. So this is having patience with oneself, patience in this relationship or the situation that's coming to play. I'm going to clarify this and see what wants to come through. Patience, patience new beginning gemini libra aquarius on this side so this could be someone starting a brand new beginning uh as well as you have the page of wands is that fiery energy on this side uh and this is saying that this person is carrying on that as well a brand new beginning wow how interesting the emperor sets in this is a legal it's almost as if there's someone that's very disciplined could be a lawyer uh you know of some sort um and this is someone that's very disciplined coming in and maybe assisting in terms of this new beginning for this person but this person he could be taking on that energy of of uh you know of that but again i really think this person has this new beginning and it has to do um perhaps you know with an aries okay and since you were carrying that aries type energy over here perhaps i kind of feel that that might come into play you might have that in your chart or you're that other person might have it in their chart but this is actually being very, very disciplined on this new beginning. Maybe if they're taking on the energy, they're being very disciplined in this new beginning, being very decisive, moving forward, uh, you know, thinking more in the head, but this is, moves them forward, okay? But that's what I see. If it's, but that's what I see. Yeah, let me clarify the emperor. Yeah, because cause when, I, when I see, yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I see here. Could be, it's like the initiation of something. Initiation of something new, initiation of a new relationship, but owning owning one's power, you know, taking moving forward with ambition. Okay, uh, let me clarify that we one step further. Queen of Wands. So I get the Queen of Wands again. More fire energy uh, and uh, moving forward uh, could be if they have a partner as it relates to the Queen of Wands. This is uh, someone that uh, again another a uh, lot of fire energy in here. Uh, but this is uh, someone that's very spiritual, maybe getting guidance from someone spiritual. Um, but uh, that's exactly what I see. Very exuberant. Uh, yeah, it's like um, there might be some people in this person's life helping them and giving them guidance moving forward. Uh, or, yeah, that's exactly what I see here. Huh, look, what's the outcome? Let's talk about what on your side. What's the outcome over here? Let's see what that is, okay? Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, here it is. Ooh, transformation for you, Pisces. Uh, kind of like you're being transformed, like the sun is shining on you. The universe is saying, okay, we're going to give you this wonderful sunshine. We're going to shine it on you. So you've got abundance, but you're going to have to bend a little bit. And it's, it's, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. So you kind of feel like there's this uncomfortableness, but there is abundance coming through. And you know, just like with a, you know, a butterfly that goes in a cocoon and then it just kind of comes out. There's that uncomfortable cocoon period sometimes to an incubation period and the, before you actually start blooming in the abundance. And, and that's what I see, a transformation in a relationship, a situation, whatever that case may be. I'm going to clarify this a bit further. And uh, with the chair, see what wants to come out. Transformation. Yeah, you're not holding on to, to a different a perspective that held, that maybe kept you trapped and in muddy waters you're getting rid of that you're taking a different perspective you're transforming and you're using your energy more positively this is an eight card right and energy is flowing so you're tapping into that energy and you're, you're changing things so you know a gemini libra aquarius type energy is kind of it could have been as you felt that maybe you were tied up you know and taking on that type of energy or tied up about someone maybe of that particular who has that energy or that sign perhaps um, I'm going to clarify it one step further. <laughs> it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as it relates to the lovers, right? Isn't it funny? Because when I brought the two of cups out, I mean, when I brought, excuse me, when I brought the lovers out, I think I said two, well, no, I did, because I did say lovers. Yeah, well, anyway, bottom line is that you get the two of cups here too. So you felt tied up about a situation, about a perspective of this as it pertains to a love life, as it pertains to lovers. Maybe you had a choice in lovers, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Aries, uh, you know, the fire energy, or as well as, uh, I got air, water, and, uh, shoot, air, water, and, and fire, man. Okay, that's what's coming through. A different perspective relating to your love life has brought transformation. This is beautiful, guys. Yeah, what's the outcome for this other person? Let's see what that is. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's exactly what I see there. A lot of that. I think you get a lot of success. I think that, 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 that you're just, I mean, you're focused on love, loving you, loving yourself first. 
and then loving others and you're successful in it. That's all I'm saying to you. This other person on outcome gets priority. They're looking through the eyes of love. This is about the, the blinders being green and this is looking through the eyes of the heart chakra. That's that green color, right? And use, the purple is all about, you know, the crown chakra, right? And uh, using your spirituality as well. But this is actually taking off, uh, you know, um, even taking off the mask, right? Taking off the mask, making it a priority to listen to one's own perception in third eye, okay? So that's what I see there. Wow, they're making it a priority for themselves as well. You both are kind of doing that. How interesting. But this person on this side really uh, had, uh, yeah, was going through something, some sort of legal situation. Uh, and they're, they're very, very grateful for the people in their lives that kind of helped them through this, whatever that is. Um, priority, let's clarify that. Yeah, they're getting out of the combative type energy, out of the, uh, uh, yeah, out of the, uh, you know, the real combative type energy. That's gone. They're making themselves priority and getting out of that. Wow, how interesting. I'll clarify that even a step further. Priority card, what is that? Yeah, moving into the star type energy. Uh, this could be, Pisces, uh, whether it's you or the other person, but this is the person that's going through some healing on this side. Uh, and it could be an Aquarius type energy that they're taking on. You might have that in your uh, sign or birth chart, or they might have it in theirs. But this is equally not balancing of the chakras, healing themselves, really feeding their soul, feeding themselves, and it really makes their light shine brighter. Uh, but it could be, that's exactly what I see there. It could be an Aquarian that you might be dealing with. This is a major arcana car. Yeah, this is, this is about, uh, this is about, being very, this is, a, you know, really the, the uniqueness too. But inspiration, really achieving happiness, okay? This person is actually achieving that. Wow, that's the outcome. Uh, anything to do to change the situation? Anything to change the situation, uh, to change the outcome, starting with you first? What you get? Guess what you get, Pisces? Trust. Trusting in love. This love is all the green there. Trusting in yourself first to know that you can make the best decisions as it relates to love, as it relates to the situation. But if you focus on love uh, and, and get your, your values down and in terms of, you know, what it is that, uh, you know, having patience with yourself uh, and know that everything happens in divine order to trust the universe that you're being guided the proper way for yourself. I think that's going to be very, very big, very, very big. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Anything this other person could do to change the outcome of the situation? What does that look like? Let's just throw it out there. Gateway. Wow. What was once hidden is now being shined by the sun and the stars and the light and opening up a new door. This door is green. Opening up the door to the heart. A new gateway in the heart from what they've overcome in the past. Uh, and maybe, you know, uh, what, what they have gone through, you know, in, in terms of the situation. But yeah, I, I see that um, they really have a new gateway, a new start, a new opportunity on their journey, a new path in love, in the situation, whatever. That's exactly what I see there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's um, they're choosing maybe a little bit more of the lighter side of life. So let me ask what it is that you want to say to this person and what this other person wants to say to you. Okay. Here you go. Here's for you first. Here it is. Oh, it's frightening to me how we see things so differently. Wow. This is about really looking at each other's perspectives, right? And, uh, and is, the thing is, is that you're not trying to convert each other, right? You're not trying to change each other's point of view, right? This is saying, so, so there's nothing to, uh, um, you know, really be frightened about. This is about saying, yeah, it does kind of frighten me to that, but here's the thing, um, that, that, this is about listening attentively to each other's thoughts, you know, and, 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 and that, that's the, of what led you to your respective positions in this situation, in this relationship, whatever's brought you to my channel. So that's what I see here, guys. Okay. What does this other person want to say to you? Let's see what that is. Here it is. Okay. I was just reacting to you as if you were my mother and I know that you are not. So maybe this brought to light this other person's who brought to light. There you go. See the, the lights kind of dancing on this. It's like, it's that card there, right? It's that, it's that emoji that goes, okay, I can't do it with my face, but you get it, <laughs> but you get it, right? It's kind of like it's playing on there. So I got to keep it there for a minute, but yeah, it's like the eyes are, are seeing that and it's, it's quite beautiful, but it's basically saying that, yeah, um, 
you know, uh, I know the biggest some issues that I have perhaps with my mother is what this person is saying. And uh, maybe I need to look at that. Um, but, uh, you know, that um, I, I unconsciously acted as if you were because it brought me back. It just triggered me in some way, shape or form. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. Very interesting. So what is going to breach the gap of both of you? What is going to breach the gap of the situation, this relationship, uh, whatever uh, uh, is has come into play, person, place, or thing regarding this? What's going to breach the gap for both of you? Earth angel. Wow. This is knowing that there is something that is greater than yourself that for both of you and, and, to, and, and that is watching over you and being the guardian, right? The protector, hence the sirens, right? Well, coming to the rescue, you've got your own guardian coming to the rescue, but this is for both of you. You've got an earth angel. You've got someone on earth that, that, uh, uh, that is, you have an angel that is helping you on earth through this process and offering you a lot of love, a lot of guidance, right? And uh, really trying to uh, shine the light on you and to show you the way. Okay? So that's what I see coming through. That's what's going to breach the gap for both of you. What's interesting is it is for both of you, right? And, it's, it, and, and that's what I see here. Letting go of pride. Loving each other. Loving you each as independent people. But then also um, in, in, in seeing yourself in each other's shoes. Right? So, um, yeah. Yeah, you're seeing yourself in everyone. And, and that's what I see kind of coming through. Very, very beautiful, right? And, and having the acceptance in that. Wow. Okay, guys, that's what I see for you. So I hope that this resonated with you in some way. Uh, please note your comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the month of October. Until then, namaste.